artist in Soviet Russia was never easy and musicians were no exception. As this new Paris exhibition shows, Russian revolutionaries wanted to harness the power of music to help create their socialist state. Yet they were wary of it. Lenin himself said that listening to Beethoven made him want to stroke the heads of his fellow humans rather than continue the revolutionary struggle. So after a decade of relative freedom, musicians were told to toe the line, throw out avant-garde experiments, lose Western influences and keep it simple. Music was now for the masses. La fin des années 20 est vraiment marquée par une lutte de plus en plus intense entre les partisans. The late 20s are marked by a growing struggle between those who defended sophisticated music, open to Western influences, and those who wanted proletarian music that would do away with all bourgeois and Western influence. They wanted all art, including music, to appeal to the people. That meant simple songs hammering home the message that life was better under communism and the future was bright. Suddenly there was little room for complicated compositions and new harmonies. The great Shostakovich perhaps best represents this dilemma musicians faced under Stalin. A Russian hero one day, a decadent bourgeois the next. The anguish of those years was always visible on his face, especially after the Communist Party suddenly lashed out at his work. Shostakovich expected the worst. Every night with his family, when he heard a car stop in the street, when he heard the lift go up in his building, he thought it was the secret police coming to arrest him and his family. At that time, anybody could be arrested and sentenced for counter-revolutionary activities. And many were. Others managed to escape the censors because dissidence in music is hard to prove. Unlike in poetry or painting, there are no words or images. If you're a chess player or a musician, your life was less at risk than that of other artists. Socialist realism remained the Soviet Union's doctrine until the end of communism in 1991, a dark chapter in musical history that produced a lot of creativity, but most of all, deep suffering.